Hi, this little clip I'm going to do uh, today is to show you the importance of having a guard up and using that guard to secure your personal space and also to keep you safe if someone comes towards you. Also known as a fence, that was what Jeff Thompson used to call it, yeah? just keeping your hands up and putting the space between you and aggressor. Now the thing is, it all depends on distance and what sort of fence you use. If the person is away from you but moving towards you, you can extend your personal space by using a good guard or a fence, like so, putting two hands up. Straight away, you've got your hands up, you've got a guard, and you're showing that you don't want an intrusion into your personal space. So if a guy comes towards you, this is typical, someone, they're going to try and close down your personal space. They can't mug you or assault you if they're six foot away unless they've got a weapon. Yeah? If it's a hands-on confrontation, they're going to close that distance down. They're going to pretend that they're your best mate. They're going to do something for you. They want to bring you into their space and then they're going to attack you. And it's typical. Some geezer might be like this. Sees you walking along. Oi, mate. Oi. Here, mate. Come here. I've got something for you. Come here. Yeah? And they're walking towards you. They're using all these gestures. And straight away, you're, you're looking as though, well, do I know him? You know? Should I be rude and, and, and say, no, I don't want any help? You know, I don't, I don't. Here, mate, come here. Look. Oi, I've got something for you. Come here. Yeah? You know the situation. Most people don't know what to do, even in that sort of situation. And it's quite easy. Just by using a fence, using a guard, just put your hands up. Carry on walking. But just put your hands up and you say, sorry, mate, no, I don't want no trouble. No, mate, all right, no, I don't want to see anything. All right? Leave it out. Straight away, I put a guard up. I'm showing I'm not an easy target. And it's such a simple thing. The thing is, if it starts to, starts to close down, and the guy's being, mate, no, don't be like that. Come here, I'll move you. Come here. Yeah? His attitude's changing slightly. You've still got your guard up. Yeah? But you've also got to be more authoritative. You've got to tell him, keep away, mate. I don't want nothing. Now, keep back, I'm telling you. Yeah? Straight away, it's now your decision. You're on orange. Yeah? Colour orange. You've gone from yellow, you've been aware of the situation, you've spotted the geezer, he's looked at you, as soon as he's looked at you, he's come towards you. You're all right, mate? Yeah, that old chestnut. Yeah? You've then gone to orange because he won't back down, he's coming towards you. Yeah? You've got to make a decision then when you go to red because you've got to deal with it. But at least your hands are up. Now, the other way, you can I hold my hands like this, so I've got two barriers between my face, yeah, and my throat. Some people are like that. Look, mate, I don't want no trouble. Yeah? I think this is a little bit too much of a gap. I'd rather have my hands up like so. Yeah? And if he knocks ones down, if he pushes down, makes physical contact with me, I'm then going to go in with the back of my hand into a palm strike, into an elbow, into whatever. So there's a distance fence. But sometimes you don't get that sort of warning. You don't get that four foot or six foot or eight foot. Yeah? Sometimes you might be standing in the pub, you're having a drink, having a chat, and a geezer comes right into the side of you. You've been looking at me, mate, and he's there, right in your face. He hasn't actually grabbed hold of you, or he's drunk and he's had a few bit. Oi, mate, come here, yeah? You don't want to start doing that, yeah? Extending your space like that, yeah? That's aggressive, yeah? You're going to hit him with that, you know, straight away. So you don't use that sort of fence. What you kind of do is, for me, my favourite one is this. Yeah, I'm stood there, I'm acknowledging, you know, like that. He might be like drunk, I'm, I'm assessing the situation. No, I've slightly turned my body, turned my groin away. Got this hand on my elbow, this is on my chin, so I'm listening to him. Yeah, or if I don't want him there, I can actually extend this hand. Yeah, mate, no, no, I don't want trouble. You know, it, then I've just added another foot to my personal space just by moving this hand out. And I'll move it like this. So, you know, no matter, I don't want trouble, no, mate. You know, even this bottom hand, suddenly he's seeing things that I don't want to deal with, but my hands are up. If I need to use them, I can. And I'll be showing you strikes from this sort of thing later. But from here, if you just see this, I'm doing it, mate. I don't want trouble. Bang! And I'm going to step in and hit. Yeah? It could be that I'm this side, so I've gone this side. If I'm this side and I want a groin shot, I'm going to use my top hand. From him, mate, I don't want trouble. 
and then I'm going to hit down. So that's a good fence for closer in. The other one you can use is this. Now, they can call it a gable guard, call it what you want. But this is, is a good one to use where someone's talking to you, it might be in your face, and you've just got your hands here. And again, as though you're listening, yeah? But straight away, you've got your hands up, you're aware, you're looking. Looking at where his hands are. Yeah, alright mate, yeah, I just want to show you something. Guy starts to turn, yeah? Why is he turning? What's he concealing? What is he doing? Yeah? But you've got your hands up and you're aware of what's happening around. And then finally, again, if the guy's got a hold of you, and this could be a muggy, yeah? The guy's got a knife, the guy's got a gun, the guy's just got a hold of you, you don't know what he's going to do, he's threatening you. This is where your hands come up like this. And you've got to show that you're passive and submissive and frightened. You're not a threat to him at the moment. Yeah? It's so nice the bloke grabs hold of you and you're like that. Yeah? He's just going to back off, pull the knife, and do you. Yeah? You've got to show that, no, please, please, my elbows come in. Yeah? My shoulders come up. I'm protecting my carotid artery. My jaw comes down to protect my throat. And I'm like this. And I'm not staring into his eyes. I'm staring about chest level. Please, please, like this. But my everything's there. But I'm ready. If I need to react, I can react. The guy's grabbed me by the back of the head and I'm holding myself like this. Yeah? So from here, I can then react to all sorts of different situations. Yeah? So that is what they call the fence. Jeff Thompson called it a fence. You know, you can call it a guard, you can call it what you like. But there are several sorts of guards that you can use. Yeah? Some guys, you know, they actually stand like, would stand like this. Stand like that, slide to one side, yeah? I like to keep this up, this across. That's my favourite one, because I can listen, I can analyse. That's a good one, yeah, for keeping someone away. Someone comes up to you, geezer, two guys, three guys in one, peels off. Who hey, mate, got a time? Oi, oi, mate, you got a time? Don't worry about being rude to them. This is what people think. Oh, I better stop it. He wants to talk to me. You know, trust your instincts. You know, I'll go like that, I'll have a say, no mate, I ain't got the time, pal, I ain't got the time, mate. Can you use all that? Sorry mate, no, I'm in the right rush, gotta go. Yeah? Or if I'm going to tell the time, you know, if you've got it on your left wrist, I'll point, but my hands would be up. Yeah mate, uh, 10 miles two. Yeah? If you want to, you know, want to tell the guy the time, but your hands are up. Yeah? It's entirely up to you. But this is the sort of thing... They're, they're pliable, they move, you know, they're fluid, you know, you might have a guard up, you might be here, you know, someone touches you, oh, my pal, yeah, you're all right, yeah, I'm good, you know, and use it, make it work for you, yeah, here, listening, yeah, mate, I know you've got problems, yeah, I know, you know, I know I wasn't staring at you, you know, this is the sort of thing where you're trying to use your voice, trying to get yourself out of a situation, but it might not work. So from this position, look mate, I've told you mate, I don't want trouble, you know, it goes to touch you, BANG! And then we react. But we'll be looking at that, striking from a fence, maybe in the next um, little clip, and also the art of substitute, substitute you know, where we, we move away, we do something to take the eye off from us before we strike. But that's all coming up. So anyway, I hope you understand that, I hope you enjoyed it, and I uh, hope it helps you uh, to keep safe, and that's the main thing. All the best.